It was like a dildo museum. Range Wilson, fitness, comedy, life. Hollywood attracts dreamers, including a whole bunch of people who never seem to do much of anything to realize their dreams. Shortly after I moved into the harem house, I realized that my housemates Tracy and Julie both fell into this category. Both of them claimed to be aspiring actresses, but neither one seemed to have any idea how to go about actually building a career in acting. They had moved out to Los Angeles with no money, because that's what dreamers do. But that is almost always a huge mistake, because money gives you options. To have any real chance of making it as an actor, you have to take part-time work in the evenings, which leaves your day free for acting classes, networking, and auditions. But both Tracy and Julie had to take full-time day jobs to pay their bills. When I asked them as gently as I could about their approach, they told me they were pinning their hopes on a three-person play they were planning to stage with a friend of theirs. In the evenings, the three of them would rehearse endlessly for this play. But aspiring actors put on a dozen of these plays every night in Hollywood. Hardly anyone ever attends, much less anyone who could help their acting career. Tracy and Julie seemed disconnected from reality in other ways. They never cleaned, and when something broke around the house, they simply ignored it. When their shower drain backed up, they did nothing. When mine backed up a few days later, I asked Tracy to call the landlord, and she flat out refused. She told me she was worried he would kick us out if she called him. That idea seemed bizarre to me, but I could not see any point in trying to convince her otherwise. Instead, I suggested that we call a plumber. They said they could not afford it because they were flat broke. So I called the plumber myself, paid for the plumber, and then once he had fixed the problem, I suggested to the three girls that they not throw their dental floss in the toilet, which is what had backed up the drain. When Thanksgiving rolled around, they thought it would be a nice idea to invite a bunch of friends over, because many East Coast transplants are stuck in Hollywood with nowhere else to go. I thought that was a fine idea, but it turned out they had not thought to actually provide any food. Once again, I stepped in. I called a local supermarket, arranged for a full Thanksgiving dinner, and once again I paid the cost. As for Kate, she seemed more grounded than the other two, but she had just moved in recently like myself. Also, she was Julie's younger sister and tended to defer to her. But I did like spending time with Kate. One night, when it was just the two of us at the house, we had a very nice evening watching the DVD of Crazy Slash Beautiful. I could not help but think that the title of that movie perfectly described my living situation. During the movie, Kate invited me to drop by the next day when she was working a shift in her female-friendly sex toy shop. That sounded great to me, but it turned out it was among the least sexy places I have ever visited. Most of the wall space was taken up by a vast array of dildos, each carefully placed on its own individual wood shelf and lit by an array of soft lights. It was like a dildo museum. As I mentioned in a previous video, Kate herself had a slam in body, but never showed any hint of sexual desire. In that sense, the sex toy shop was a perfect fit for her. I left the place with my libido squashed, wondering if my move to the harem house had been a big mistake. It turned out Tracy and Julie were thinking the same thing, because not long afterwards, they asked me to move out. A friend of theirs who had previously been living in my room wanted to move back in. I could not really object to that idea since I was using his furniture. Not that I wanted to object anyway. The harem house simply had not worked out as well as I had hoped, and now it was time to move on. Tune in next time to find out what happened when I found a luxury condo on Venice Beach. Until then, like, comment, share, and or subscribe. My name is Range Wilson and I'll see you next time.